Many of the local residents have lived in this area for almost their whole lives. Olive, you must have seen a lot of changes over the years. Well, it's changed such a lot because this will be the second time I've seen the changes. Obviously, after the war, there was so much damage around here that it, it got to be rebuilt. I wasn't always pleased about some of the things that went on because a lot of us thought that these big, tall buildings were not going to be suitable for people to live in because they've turned out that everybody lives in them now. Uh, the shops that we used to have in the area was absolutely wonderful. You could get everything possible in Creegrove Street, even as far as coal. Over the back there, when the pool and the swings and everything were there, that's where we spent Sunday afternoons on the green, uh, because it was a really lovely place over there. We lived on Bow Barn, which is just over the back there, where they're building the new park. Um, I used to play in the old park as a kid. Um, they used to actually put water in the pond and they used to have changing rooms and the smaller kids used to get into the changing rooms change and you'd have food out there, you'd sit out there with chips or something. And Sundays was the best because you had all the families come out. Back then there was a, a really strong sense of community spirit. The idea was that men in the Midlands hadn't had the education that they should have had, so they used to meet on a Sunday morning at 7.30. Uh, the women's group used to meet on Wednesday. So many people used it that some nights every room in the centre was being, <coughs> being used by someone and the whole of the week would be booked but we put on everything we could possibly think of. It sort of slowly changed and those families that had lived here for a set number of years started to move out and the people were just being put in that you could see they didn't want to be here. This was the only option that they were given and it was basically turned into a dumping ground. Um, you could see the vandalism building up. You could see um, the negativity of uh, lack of jobs, health. All of those things were starting to build up in the area. and it, it changed. It changed from being a vibrant community into a community where you hardly knew anybody. I mean, I lived in my flat and it took me two years before I knew who lived above me. In uh, 1995, I, I got involved with a local few people on the estate because of the council work that was proposed on the estate, and we weren't happy with it. Um, very briefly, that, they, then they to a resident association. The resident association talked to the city council. They said, "We can't do anything for you. There's no money." Um, and so we then did a little bit of non-violent direct action. Um, we put up a, a big banner on Bristol Road, over a 20 foot by 10 foot banner which read, um, Welcome to Lee Bank, Birmingham, Slum Quarter. And following a, a number of other demonstrations, we sat down with the City Council and they offered us the chance to transfer the stock on the estate to a purpose-formed company. And what started off, can you please give us some new kitchens and possibly some double glazing, suddenly came, how much are we spending, 300 million? Something like that. Something like 300 million quid altogether. It's, it's a phenomenal amount of money. We were very sorry when we got to uh, sell it, but I wanted Optima to have it so that the people around here would still make use of it, which they have done. I think it's been very useful focal point for people at a time when it's been quite difficult for them. There hasn't been a heart to the community, and it's been a place that they've known they can come to, where there was somebody that they could talk to who would understand the issues that they were going through. And it's also been an important place where people could meet for social events. And I think where people have um, certainly grasped some of the issues around people rather than just the buildings and the things that are happening to redevelop the area. So they've really tried to think about the community and what it means for people in a period of change. I think the community centre in the area has meant that it's somewhere for people to get together and be able to enjoy events and instead of being stuck in the house and get to meet other people that they perhaps wouldn't have met and do things that they wouldn't have been able to do just stopping in the house, things you haven't had to go at. We've had a quiz nights, we've had a Halloween party and um, we had a masked ball here 
and um, I mean we made all the masks and that from a women's group but it was brilliant we really enjoyed the experience and we can't wait to do the next one there. The hell that that would green are continuing at other venues the one venue we have is at Nash House the ground floor flat which has been given to us and they hold coffee mornings on a Monday for the over 50s and bingo and uh, on Wednesday I think it's for the children, I believe. Thursday is a debt recovery effort. We're having uh, monthly runs for the over 50s. And we go the last Wednesday in every month, been to Manchester, Western, Real, Stratford. And they're extremely well run, they're very, uh, very cheap. It only costs us three pounds. And it's a nice day out, day out from the flat actually, so that's why we enjoy it. I was born round here, in Latimer Street. We had our green and everything, it was a beautiful area. You know, it's they say when it's done it could be fantastic, but I, whether it'll be my time, I don't know. I mean, I'm 85 and Violet's 82 in, yeah. or 81, so... Give me my age away. <laughs> See what I mean? You can't trust them. <laughs> When I first used to come over to Lee Bank, I mean, it was a bit... You couldn't walk through the park. And now it's safe. You know, I mean, I never thought I'd end up living up at this end. <laughs> but it, it's, it's lovely. It'll be lovely when it's finished. I can't wait to see that. I mean, it's, it's a lot safer around here now. Um, you're getting the community spirit back. Um, people aren't, aren't wanting to move out. I mean, at one stage, we had something like half our tenants or a third of our tenants would move every year. Now, you, the housing list is closed. If you want a flat, you will not get one round here because the, the, the lists are closed. Um, and that just shows you it's gone from a really bad estate to something that's quite vibrant and people actually want to move in. And I think that when the development is completed in about five or six years' time, it, it will be a really good place to live. I love my little flats. I do. You know, I mean... I like that the style of these flats were built, they were built in the 50s, you see. And they were well sought after. You know, you had to be very lucky to get one. And I mean, there was talk originally of demolishing these. And we all went, no, you're not going to demolish these, you know. <laughs> and it, we managed to get it saved and they've given us new kitchens, done the outsides, sort of insulated all the walls and give us those nice windows. And so, yeah, I've seen some changes, yeah. Community spirit to me isn't just about bricks and mortar and what's going on. It's about you as a team, it's about the community pulling together. I mean, years ago we used to have like the Silver Jubilee, I remember being out there on the little tables, or we used to have a fair, so, and, and it was set up by the people from the estates, and you'd have the, the um, best looking granny on the estate sort of thing, and, and stuff like that, and there's nothing to stop us from doing that. Um, and I think, to be honest, I think they will carry on with that sort of stuff because that's not about the housing issues or broken toilets or the wobbly lamp outside in the road. That's about the community themselves. And I think that I do feel that towards the end of it, they'll, they'll focus even more on the fun side of it because the, the harder stuff has been done. And I think it will give them time then to relax and to actually enjoy it. People that make an area, isn't it? And it, hopefully the people will make the area. I think it's, um, it, it's given quite a lot. I mean, it, it's been a focal point for quite a few groups. So it, it's going to be a, a, a side loss to us when it goes. And there could be a bit of history. Oh, it could be a bit of history, yeah. made a big difference to my life. It was something that I got there, something I could look forward to, so many friends I could meet, and I still meet some of them. We're all getting on a little bit, but uh, we're still trying to keep going. I've seen two changes in this area, and uh, this is going to be the last. 
and this is going to be the best 